Tracy, Jackie, that group of Jewish students, professors, and their supporters, they met just off campus. They marched right to the president's office with signs, with flags, and with that petition that garnered more than 3,100 signatures in under 48 hours from students, parents, alum, faculty, and staff. They say while they respect the protesters' right to organize and share their viewpoints, it's gotten to a point where their students are not feeling safe on campus. And they say, as of last week, the president had already acknowledged that the encampment was violating university policy. Meantime, the encampment is growing bigger, they are growing louder, and they say they are not phased by that petition. They're here to stay until their demands are met. The encampment itself violates the university's facilities policy. Surrounded by supporters, Jewish students and professors led the group with a message for Penn leaders. We love Penn and we love what it stands for, its proud Quaker tradition of tolerance. It is unfortunate to many of us that the encampments has been allowed to persist despite harassment, threatening speech and vandalism. President Jameson wasn't in his office when the group arrived, so they presented it to senior officials. They say they've been waiting for an answer since last Friday. We hope that this doesn't go, you know, any even one more day without an answer, just telling the community what's happening on campus. Because as a student, we haven't been told any update for one week, whether the encampment is staying or going, and that's, that's scary for us. Those speaking for the Jewish group today emphasize it's not the protest they have an issue with, acknowledging that even some Jewish students have joined in. Certainly it is true that a large range of students have joined the protests, and let me be clear, the petition today and our goal is not to say people cannot protest. There are absolutely legitimate conversations, hard conversations to have about what's going on in the Middle East, and none of us have a problem with that conversation. What we have a problem with is hate speech and threats. The petition garnered over 3,100 signatures from students, parents, alum, faculty, and staff in under 48 hours. Protesters for Palestine say they have just as much support, continue to chant and rally, at one point some even duct taping the Ben Franklin statue. Some of the pro-Israeli groups stayed behind to stage a counter protest after delivering that petition. A few mocking the pro-Palestinian group. One woman with the Israeli flag and sign saying she's here to talk and here to listen. More than a week in now, the demands of Freedom Camp haven't changed. They want to know where university funds are going, and they don't want those funds going to Israel. And Jackie, Tracy, something else too that the students here at the encampment say is important is for the university to defend their right to protest. But the Jewish group we spoke with, they say they're not really sure if these are all students, if these are all people affiliated with the university. They feel there are some people here who they're calling outside agitators that are causing some of those extremely high tensions. Again, though, the student encampment, they say they're here to stay. They say they've met with the university twice now, but they have not been able to reach any sort of mutual agreement. Live from University City, I'm Francis Wang, NBC 10 News.